Good morning, everyone. Raphael, are you still in here? Raphael, please go on Etsy. Miss Hewitt has stuff for you. Good morning. Ask Carol to help you. Morning, everyone. How are we feeling this morning? Hi, Axel. Hey, Jordy. Hey, Andy. Hey, Josiah. Good morning, Anaya and Ashley and Ariana B. Hey, Ari. Yay. Yes, I know my B day is tomorrow. I'm so excited. I have a shirt. I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes because we have eight people on right now and we usually have about 20. So before I start, we'll go ahead and um, you guys can just relax. Oh yes, today is Sasha's birthday. Hey Marlene. Hey Genesis, good morning. Happy birthday to Sasha, wherever she is. Please share this with her so we can she can see our birthday messages. Got my kids bop on this morning. Stella, by the way, everyone, does not want to participate at all today. I've probably put her on my, um, her, we're calling it her desk. Thank you, Marlene. I hope that she starts coming, but thanks for continuing to share with her. I really appreciate that. Um, the more that you can share with people, the better. We have to make sure that you're coming every day. That's like our way of taking attendance. So the more people that we have in our lives, we don't have to contact as much through messages and things like that. So it's a way for us to take attendance since we're not actually at school. So yeah, um, Stella does not feel like coming to school today. She's definitely tardy. She usually sits on this little um, stool next to me, like a little cushion, and she's not coming at all today. She said, in her mind, she's taking a day off, I guess, a mental health day. Hey, Stephanie. Good morning. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start in just another minute. Remember this week we've been covering main ideas and key details. Oh yeah, if you guys can contact Moises and Geo and have them log on, that would be great. Any other kids that you know, that would be so awesome. Remember, I want to have 26 people in here by tomorrow for my birthday. And I'm going to tell you something like something big, something huge. And if people aren't on our lives, then they're not going to hear it. So this is a pretty big deal. Like I'm going to wait, obviously, but because I know most of the time kids pop in later. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We got 16 people here this morning, 16. Remember, I want 10 more for tomorrow. Tomorrow is my birthday. We're having a big birthday party. Um, Ashley. Try to contact Damaris because she comes to Ms. Hoffman's in the afternoon. So make sure that you are telling your friends, tell Damaris to wake up earlier and come to our lives in the morning, okay? Or Genesis or whoever else is on there. Hey! Oh, Jordan, thank you so much for updating us. Thank you. I was worried sick about her. That is such good news. I'm going to take a... There we go. Yep. That is such good news. Thank you for telling us, Jordan. 
Um, okay, so today is April 2nd. It is Thursday, and you might be asking yourself, where is Miss Perone's teacher shirt this morning? Well, today is actually pajama day in Mort's Virtual Spirit Week. So, yes, I have no shoes on today. I am in some polar bear pants and my blue pajama shirt because today is Mort's Virtual Spirit Week. Today is pajama day. I wanted to get that out in the open so you guys aren't like, wow, Miss Pearl looks real casual today. Gloria, you're here. Awesome. Okay, so on this day in history... In 1513, 1513, Ponce de Leon claimed Florida for Spain. So, um, I'm if you've ever heard of St. Augustine, St. Augustine is where um, Ponce de Leon kind of settled, and that's where he claimed Florida. So, um, over, I know that um, Jordy recently went to St. Augustine, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, so he claimed Florida and claimed it for the Spanish crown. Although, there's my fact of the day. It says, although other European navigators may have sighted Florida before, Ponce de Leon is credited with the first recorded landing and the first detailed exploration. Did you know, this is another fun fact, did you know that Florida is actually La Florida and that's because it meant uh, it was discovery ar discovered around the time of Easter and all the flowers were blooming. And that's a big um, part of why they um, called it Florida. And the name just stuck. So, yeah, um, that's a fun fact. OK, so our random fact of the day, I'm going I'm going to continue with the space knowledge. So our random fact of the day is that the Apollo, my fact of the day is, oh, this history. The Apollo astronauts, those are the astronauts who went on to the moon. The Apollo astronauts' footprints on the moon will probably stay there for at least a hundred million years. Anyone know why? Why will the Apollo, hey Amber, why will the Apollo um, astronauts' footprints stay on the moon for at least a hundred million years? It's okay to not know. Just take a guess. Just take a guess. Why might their footprints stay on the moon? Raphael says because there's no atmosphere. There's no wind. So we've got no atmosphere, no wind. Any other guesses? Because there's no wind on the moon. Yeah, so you guys that said there's no wind and there's no atmosphere. Um, oh, because it's like once in a blue moon. Ha, that's funny. Okay, so yeah, because there's no wind, there's no atmosphere, there's no water, there's nothing to erode away the footprints. Oh, hey, Miss Snellgrove. I hope you have your PJs on. Um, yeah, so there's nothing to erode away. And we know... Hey, Link, we know that erosion is the uh, process of taking things away due from, I'm sure I'm saying the wrong words. I'm so sorry, Ms. Hoffman. I'm trying my best. Erosion is the process of um, taking things away from a surface or like when I think of erosion, I think of the beach. The water kind of erodes the sand away and creates like little platforms because the, yep. Yeah, Okay. All right. So on to reviewing our packet. Okay. On to reviewing our packet. Your task yesterday was to talk about, was to read when stars explode. It was a little bit about um, supernovas. Okay. I am going to um, go over this question because I have a feeling this question probably uh, tripped you guys up some. So this is the question I'm going to go over today, okay? But before I do that, I want to go ahead and ask you, when does a supernova take place? When does a supernova take place? You're going to have to go in the text to find the answer, but I want to know when does a supernova take place? I'll type that in the chat too. When does a supernova take 
place. Guys, we have 21 people here. If we're trying to get 26 in here, we're close to it, okay? When does a supernova take place? Raphael says when a star blows up. Hmm. I'm going back in my text right now just to double check. Making sure I'm coding it. When the stars get older and they don't have enough energy. Anyone else? Man, you guys are quiet this morning. Type it in the chat. Or it could just be my laggy computer at this point. Okay. So a... Oh, hey. Oh, my gosh. Miss Shayla and Miss Sandra and Miss Pamela. Hi, guys. I miss you so much. I miss you. Uh, I miss you. Um, okay. So, you guys, uh, when does a supernova take, supernova take place is when a ma massive star explodes. So, when a massive star explodes, that is a supernova. So, dun 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 there's your text right there in color, but it looks like really small on mine because I printed it out teeny tiny. Stars, yes, stars do lose a lot when they get old. That's right, Christian, when you were talking about they are getting older. Um, all right, so let's quickly go over this chart. I'm going to go ahead and fold mine, and we're going to start with this first top of number three, okay? I'm using, um, by the way, remember, me and Ms. Hoffman are trying really hard to get sponsored by PaperMate. They are the people who make flare pens, and they also make those Inkjoy ones that Miss um, Hoffman loves to use too. So I'm using my PaperMate flare pen to write today. Hint, hint, sponsor me. Okay, so in the chart below, only two sentences are actually main ideas, it says. Identify those main ideas and copy them in the rows titled main idea one and main idea two in the charts at the bottom of the page. Okay, so this whole week we've been talking about main idea and key details. Now's your chance to prove what you know. So how do you determine, how do we determine the main idea of something? How do you determine the main idea of something? So what I'm going to do to talk about these is I'm going to number each one of these answer choices as main ideas, and then we're going to figure out what it would be together, okay? So one, two, using my flare pen, three, four, five, six. And now we're looking for two answers because we know that in fifth grade, a text has more than one main idea. So these are all possible main ideas. Right now in the chat, I want you to answer this question for me. How do we determine the main idea? Take your best guess. How do, I'm typing it in the chat, we determine the, oh, Yoop is the guy from I Ready, isn't he, Gloria? How do we determine the main idea? Raphael, you don't know. Okay. By finding evidence to support it, those key details. Look for, yep. So we look for what the text is mostly about. And when we are looking for what the text is mostly about, we are looking for the evidence to support those key details. So sometimes when we're trying to find the main idea, it's easier to actually start with the supporting details in the text. OK, you guys can see my scrunchie because I'm like bending down to see the screen. So if we're looking in the text, we're going to start with the key details. OK, so skip down to where it says key details. It says now study this chart. It contains supporting details from the article. Choose one detail that best supports each main idea that you've chosen. OK, first things first. When we're reading this text, OK, it is so important that you code the text. We need to code, we need to code our text first 
because that's how we're going to find those supporting details. Once we find these facts in the text, once we find the important information, we add up the facts to determine what the main idea is. So we add up the details to determine the main ideas, okay? So when we're looking at question, the first part where it's asking us about the possible main ideas, let's go through them and read them one by one. It says, in 16... Oh, four, a supernova exploded. I made that number one. Supernova, supernovae, that's the plural, make important elements. That's number two. Number three, astronomers did not always use telescopes. Number four, Antares is a massive star. Number five, only some stars will become supernovae. And number six, Hydrogen is the lightest element. Hydrogen is the lightest element. Okay, so um, let's chat. Which one do we think were the main ideas? So some in the chat is saying in 1604, a supernova exploded. And main idea two, hey, Miss Boylan, thanks for joining us this morning. Hope you have your PJs on. It's PJ day and spirit week. Um, okay, so main idea number one, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about this one. I'm thinking that it's supernovae, a.k.a. number two, supernovae. Oh, my gosh, Miss Shimon, you're here. So supernovae make important elements. Guys, so many people are showing up to say hi to you. That must mean that you're super important. Of course you are. We all miss you so much. They can't stay away. Remember, if anybody knows anyone in the paper mate world, we're trying to get sponsored. Okay. All right. So your first main idea is supernovae make important elements. So that would be number two on your page. Okay. That would be your main idea. So now I want to go through and I'm going to look at the possible supporting details on this section. And I'm going to find the supporting details that support this main idea. Okay. So I'm going to label them the same way. One, two, three, four, five, and six, just like we did. And now this question, you, I hope you get this right because we've been talking about this all week. How do we know if a detail supports a main idea? How do you know if a detail supports a main idea? How do we know if a detail supports a main idea? Putting it in the chat, guys. Miss Boylan, I'm going to write that number down, and at the end of our session, I'll plug it again, okay? 813-485-4560, okay. Okay. So, oh, you're close. Link started to answer. So how do we know if a detail supports a main idea? I'm going to just turn my little camera over here, see if you can... See this little screen over here? Man, I, I don't know if, um, I'm not sure if, um, if I'm just stretching over here on this little chart over here. Hey, Damaris, you, you're here. Yay. Okay. So how do you know if a detail supports a main idea? I may or may not be giving you a giant hint right now. I know this chat lags a little bit behind. If it has the perfect end of that. Okay. So remember, we talked about this on Monday. On Monday. Yes, it connects to the main idea. We know if it connects to the main idea because the fact will be in. Yes, by using important or interesting evidence. Remember, interesting evidence is not always going to be your supporting detail. So when we're looking at supernovae make important elements, we're going to look back at the supporting details. It says 
The last time people saw a supernova in a galaxy was 1604? Nope. You're right. You're right, Ashley. However, every year astronomers see supernovae exploding into other galaxies? No, that has nothing to do with important elements. Remember, we're looking for elements. The sun will never explode? No, we can already slash those. And the explosions themselves produce iron. That could be possible. Hey, JJ, the outflow of huge amounts of energy, uh, much of it light, pushes that. Nope. It, this nuclear reaction creates energy that heats the star and makes it shine. Now, an element, guys, think science, elements. The only one that really supports that is number four right here. The one that says, and... The explosions themselves produce iron. So your answer would be number four or the explosions produce iron. Okay. All right. I'm not even going to go on to the second main idea here. I want you to make sure that you're going back in your text. If you didn't remember how to do this, that's okay. I'm going to post this piece of paper on our running document. The running document can be found on Clever under week one resources with the dates, or it could be found, I pinned it to our Edsby page. Log in, check the document out. I update it every day with the links to our YouTubes and pictures of what we talk about. I also put on there, if, if your parents have questions, I kind of address a little bit of the common questions that they might have about this. Okay, so moving on, um, we are gonna be doing some fun writing tomorrow for my birthday. So tomorrow we're gonna focus on a, um, some writing. I'll go a little bit into the packet, but I wanna do some fun Friday writing with you. And we're gonna try to type some clever um, sentences into the chat. We're gonna use the chat feature for that. So let's go ahead and talk about today's kindness challenge, okay? Kindness challenge, I know you all are gonna hate this, but your kindness challenge today clean the bathroom. Okay. Clean the bathroom. So you guys know my birthday is tomorrow and Miss Bellis actually sent me some, um, nice birthday gifts. She sent me these sweet pajamas. They're brand new. I love them. They're so soft. And she also sent me this bath stuff. Okay. Foaming bath with Epsom salt and coconut oil. Well, I really want to take a bath, but I can't take a bath until I clean the bathroom. So today, that is why I made that your, your kindness challenge, because I want to take a bath. Why the bathroom? Because, listen, the bathroom is probably the place you visit the most throughout your day besides the bed and the living room or wherever else you watch TV or go on the computer. No, Gloria, she does not think I smell. Thank you very much. She get, got me a self-care kit. So I got a little face mask. I got some eye um, mask things. And she got me this really, really pretty journal too. So that's why. She doesn't think I smell. Ugh, Gloria. Only you. My love, Gloria. Um, I guess that was payback for accidentally typing your name as Glorita. With a, that. Okay. So anyways... So we need to clean our bathrooms, especially now more than ever. Like wa washing our hands is so important. We need to wash our hands. So because we wash our hands, we need to have a nice clean bathroom with soap. I know that cleaning supplies are kind of hard to come by right now because everyone went crazy buying them and hoarding them, but you have to try your hardest. So if you have some Clorox wipes, get those out. Um, Thank you, Miss Boyle, and it is relaxing and a stress reliever. So Miss Bellis and I are um, self-care accountability buddies, so we make sure we check in with each other every single day about our mental health. So it's always important um, to have a friend out there that you can trust to talk about your mental health things with. So speaking of that, Miss Boylan did give you a number to call her if you needed anything. So her phone number is a Google phone number right here. So if, if you need to copy this down, this is for Miss Boylan. Let me write her name on the bottom, okay? Miss 
Boylan's Google number. Okay. Yes, that's not the symbol for hashtag. You can also use it for that. It's okay, Amber. Okay. Me and my brother. That's awesome, Gloria. Of course, Angel does. Of course, he does. Miss Boylan said, talking about mental health or just how you're doing, because it's fun to take a break, okay? So, guys, it's been beautiful the past two days. We've had some great weather. Go outside, take a walk with social distance, six feet apart. If you have a pet at home, like a dog, take your dog for a walk. I took Stella for a walk yesterday at, right after our live because it's been so nice out. Just to get some vitamin D. So spread my legs out. I sit at this desk almost the whole day. So I wanted to make sure that um, we get up and we exercise a little bit too. Speaking of exercise, something new has happened. Something new on our Clever page that you can get to. Or Edsby. Make sure you go on to Edsby. Miss Flack is hosting a PE challenge. Okay. She is hosting a PE challenge she posted, I think it's like a minute long video. Miss Ronka took the video and put it on um, YouTube. So I put the link on our Clever page and our Edsby page. And Miss Flack said she's going to be posting these challenges every couple days. So I think she's got like 10 jumping jacks and three burpees. You could use it as a brain break. You could use it as your PE time just to get up and get moving. And that today would be the best day to do it because it's so beautiful out. So pretty out. Um, so yeah, getting exercise releases kind of some stuff like some tension. I know for me, I've got a lot of anxiety that's going on right now and I get sleepy. Thank you, Josiah. So when I get sleepy or start to feel like nervous or anxiety or have some anxieties about things or some worries, get outside. I exercise a little bit, or if, if I can't go outside, I stay in my house and do a couple little stretches. I do a little bit of this. I do a little bit of this. And that always makes me feel better. So making sure that you're checking in, not just on academics, but checking in on yourselves and your families too. We care about you so, 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 so much. Okay. So I should have said this before when we had 24 people in our chat. What's the problem link? Type it in the chat. But secret. This is a secret. This is a secret. It's not that big of a secret, but it's a, it's a pretty big secret. Miss Brown. Miss Brown, everyone. The ruler of our chicken roost. The leader of all leaders. Miss Brown is helping to find us guest stars for our YouTube channel lives. Let me repeat that one more time. Miss Brown is helping us find guest stars for our YouTube lives. People. Miss Brown knows a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of important people. Well, we're all important, but you know what I mean. I want you all to come on here because I'm telling you starting next week, we are going to have some super cool guest stars. Now, it won't be every day. It won't be every day. But And it'll be people from our community that we know. It'll be people that maybe have come to our school before. It might not be. I asked her if maybe one day we could have the chickens be a guest star. I don't know. She's there at school. Miss Snellgrove is there at school on certain days, too. They are also, we're going to try our hardest to get them here for our YouTube lives, okay? I am so excited about it. I just think that this platform of using these YouTube lives is so cool. Ms. Hoffman and I are learning new technology all the time. We're learning new technology. Literally, I was up at 7.30 this morning and Ms. Hoffman and I were trying to figure out how to do some streaming stuff, okay? So um, tune in because you are not going to want to miss who our guest stars are, okay? And I'm talking big names, big names. Not just Stella, who's avoiding me today and sitting on the couch 
rude Stella. Although I am going to call her over in just a second. Anyways, so any other questions that you guys have? Um, You know, Shaq would be a real cool get. I would be really, really cool. Um, I don't know if she can get Shaq, but I can put in that special request. I know she's probably going to watch this. She goes and she watches our YouTube lives, just like Miss Snellgrove comes in, just like Miss Boylan comes into our lives. All of those people come up on in here. So you never know who's going to pop up in our live. You really just never know, myself included. Okay, one second. Let me go get my sign-off partner. Oh, my gosh, Ariana B., you just asked who Shaq was. Josiah, fill her in. I have brought the Grinchiest pup in the world, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal is Ariana B. Look him up, Shaquille O'Neal. He's the guy on the general commercials right now, but he is a very, he is so awesome. Like one of my favorite basketball players. Sorry, Josiah, I know. Anyways, so um, here is my send off partner here as usual look at her little grinchy feet she's got like grinch feet let me let me get up up in the camera okay look at her little feet we call them grinch feet she is so cool because she's got these extra claws right here see this little claw dangling right here little extra that makes her unique okay so um me and my own personal baby yoda are here she is grumpy. She's a grandma. That's what I call her. She's a, I told you she did not want to come to school today. Usually she's like super excited. Um, okay. So tomorrow, my B day, we're going to be making a cake together, together on our lives. Stella's not going to be involved in it because she will eat all of the cake batter. And you all know that the best part is the cake batter, but you shouldn't be eating it because it has raw egg in it. Don't tell anyone I told you to do that, okay? Don't eat raw, raw cookie dough or anything like that. It's not safe. So um, we will be here tomorrow for our birthday party extraordinaire. Stella's doing a little moves. She's going to do the thriller. Do, 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 do. Hey, Kendall. Okay. So um, your kindness challenge, clean the bathroom. It's PJ day. Wear your pajamas while you clean the bathroom. Awesome. Ponce de Leon claimed Florida for Spain today. And also the Apollo astronauts' footprints could stay on the moon for up to 100 million years. All right. Remember that if you don't have, if your friends didn't tune in today, send out the link to them. Please make sure that you check in with us. Um, we will be here all day. So, um, this is me saying ciao for now. Oh, I said ciao. Mm -hmm. She must know Italian. So ciao for now. I love you all. I miss you all. Air hugs. Dee, 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 dee. Okay. I love you guys. And I will see you here tomorrow or on Miss Hoffman's live today. All right. Bye, guys. Love you.